Welcome everybody, I am Zexor hosting, this is Let's Play or of Orcs and Men, part one. Thanks for joining me on this. Um, I don't know... I think... Oh, I don't know, I don't know how hard hard is, right? <laughs> Normally I like to play games on hard, but I'm, I'm worried I might get myself back myself into a corner and then not be able to <laughs> finish the game if it's too hard, right? We'll just, we'll just stick with medium, I think. So, let me get my timer going. All right, let's go ahead and start. Start the game. Huh. War. Not exactly a new concept. At first, it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isserian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. So, it figures they resisted. Despite besieging their villages, and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just going to sit there and take it. In protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the elves and the dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isserian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, so grinding slavery was always going to be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were going to be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You've got my sympathy if that's your case. Hmm. It's interesting. It's uh, kind of a reverse take, right? Usually the orcs are the ones enslaving humans, not vice versa. I like it. Yeah, right now this is all cutscene, so even his pause and stuff, really don't have control to make it go faster. That's okay, though. It's okay. See anything on patrol, Butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The Resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. Hmm. Larkin wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood. Okay. Got our first objective. Alright, during the game, F1 to open the menu and flip through the different pages. K, 
Okay, map is M, that's normal. Quest log is J, that's the same as like in The Witcher, for example. I'm not going to close the tutorial. We'll do that so that I can... Uh... Alright, so... It looks like that's probably my quest destination, so... Up and to the right. Okay. See my controls... Let's see. Let me do this. Let's see what my controls are. These are normal. Space is tactics menu. Okay. Stealth stance is shift. K attributes, so C like character, I like inventory, K for skills, K. So I'm not seeing a... Um, I guess you just do Q and E for cycling through targets. So uh, when you get into battle, you would cycle through. You don't just walk around with your weapon drawn, it looks like. So, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I guess let's make sure I'm good on... I think it's supposed to, but just in case... It looks like all of them are doing... So it's going to automatically do uh, subtitles, that's good. And then... Full screen resolution, shadows, particles, texture quality. Let's lower the resolution a little bit. No, I'll just leave it. Shadows, high, so FXAA, particles, medium, okay, I guess, texture quality, high. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. That's fine. Next time the game launches, we'll have those, that's fine. Okay, resume. Alright, so if I do this, yeah, Q and E don't do anything right now, probably because there are no enemies, I'm guessing. Feels and then spacebar is your tactics menu. So it feels more like this is a tactics game, not so much uh, just a straight action RPG. Faint, powerful blow, fast attack. Huh. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I meant. So I guess not, I just hit space again to get out of that. I was just say. <laughs> Uh, hitting escape, force a habit, right? But escape, apparently, will... Yeah. Escape will just take you into the menu where it's paused and you can do the controls and options and stuff. What's up? What was your name? Arkal? Something like that. of us in this one. Even the chief's gonna get his hands dirty. Jarhill? Really? We gonna kill the Emperor or what? Ha! Why not? That wouldn't hurt us a bit. Ha <laughs> uh... <laughs> Him or another Quars doesn't change much. We still have human allies, our guy. It's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Go back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsan, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. 
All of this reeks of a last stand or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. I'm supposed to confront Arkin now? Come on, defend yourself. It'll do you good. Train me in battle, I guess. Hang on. Whoop. That's not what I meant. Hang on. Stack up to four orders in succession for each character you control. Add an order to the stack, cancel the last order. Pause. Oh. Resume, I guess. Okay. How do I... Ah, dang it, what the... Okay, I was like, how the crap? I want to do fast attack, followed by powerful blow, faint fast attack. A lot of damage is uncontrollable until the rage gauge is completely empty. Blind, blind with rage. Maybe you're attacking. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. He just attacks till his rage meter's gone. There we go. Got my butt kicked, but uh, I beat him. <laughs> to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again, and I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with the technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going out the defense of what I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better. And that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. But what I really need is some way to blow off steam on a fucking combat lesson. Uh -oh. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Baron and for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mother Earth. <laughs> You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage. Take out the mercenaries, okay. Pause. Different stance available for your character. Scroll through the tactics menu wheels. Okay. Okay, close. Target is designated by a red circle as companions by a blue circle. Q and E. Using a skill. Okay.
that was easy. Okay, so way easier than it probably should be later on. <laughs> I'm guessing. Thank you. You're the butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Archive, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. Can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? We'll catch up with you. Specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? Yeah, suicide, right? You're gonna go k get, get killed. Huh. Hunter, we'll start with you. Follow me. The rest of you wait outside. This is fairly dialogue heavy. Interesting. It's not the same, but in some ways it feels kind of like I'm archive. Well, you go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east entrance. His name is Sticks. He will guide you to the mire in the row of floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly, or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments your final destination where your only task will be to kill the emperor at all costs questions that was the first time i've heard you say my name jarhill what's up with you that's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. Yeah, I would be pessimistic, too. I'm not going to question him. I think that's... Uh, well, let me ask. <laughs> you expecting me to fail? As long as one of us kills the Emperor, nobody will have failed. But yeah, you probably won't come back, Butcher. I probably won't come back either. But that still doesn't mean I expect you to disappoint me, or I wouldn't have chosen you. If you have to die at the Wall, you will at least have drawn the attention of the humans, like moths, to the flame. So your brother Blood Jaws will be able to get through more easily. Got it. Fine. 
If I gotta die so you can get across, I'll do it. And the Quarson will see only me. No, Warkai. Your mission is the same as ours. You have to do whatever you can to reach and kill the Emperor. As far as getting their attention goes, don't worry about it. You'll do it anyway. I know you, Butcher. <laughs> so, basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire where hopefully the Resistance will contact me, then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off of her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor? Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell? And you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready. Get to the east entrance to the shanty town, okay. And find sticks. So <clears throat> Yeah, this this game is fairly dialogue heavy, which is interesting. You also, if you notice the uh, the mouth, right? They really don't do the animation to match the dialogue. The animation just kind of goes, keeps going. Like when he's like ha 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 ha, he's going like his mouth's going like when he's just laughing. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name, Arkai. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. The blood jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? I was gonna be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, bonus. Piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? Okay, so... Yeah. So this is this is an interesting game. Uh, I was gonna say it's not the same, but I'm also doing The Witcher Let's Play right now, and in some ways it's kind of similar in terms of you know timing things. You can slow combat down. Of course, in The Witcher you have to drink a potion to do so, Blizzard, but it's interesting. But it's got a tactics wheel, which is similar to other games, not The Witcher so much, right? But other games that use tactics wheels, so that's pretty cool. That's the Eastern Wall. It's pretty cool so far. Seems slightly technically limited versus what you have available today. Possibly they had a lower budget. I don't know. Say, good morning, I'm here to assassinate the Emperor, and expect him to open up? You gotta take other paths. That's where I come. All right. I don't like it, but I don't really have a choice. You go first. One wrong move, and I'll rip your head off and shit in the hole. Jeez. 
Got our kale has no rage issues of any kind. <laughs> Get our kale into shanty town. Get our kale in. Oh. I wasn't bullshit. I even closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door. Alright, uh, thanks for watching everybody. This has been Let's Play of Orcs and Men Part 1. I am Zexor. I have hosted this. Don't forget to like the vid if you've enjoyed this so far. I'll see you in the next part. Till then, peace.